I don't actually feel that you are anonymous online, just as the masks in the examples that were in the video there uh, were awful, really frankly awful. Who is a Lone Ranger? Oh, it's Bob. Bob <laughs> is the guy wearing the silly mask. Or who is Superman? Oh, it's, it's Clark Kent, clearly. He's just, he's just wearing glasses at the minute. They're really, really apparent, really clear, really obvious. So is the very, very thin facade of the anonymity of the web. So not only technologically are you not anonymous, um, but also socially you tend not to be anonymous. Does the fact that you can have a mask mean that you will devolve into some kind of horrendous rabble and, and you know, create, create these, these communities and these environments? Increasingly, um, we're recognizing that communities that have people who interact over time again and again um, have hierarchies, have emergent governance, and these are all based upon the existence of an identity, a persistent identity. So that's one aspect that I wanted to talk about. The second element was also raised in York's videos. The power in numbers, the I am Spartacus. I am Spartacus, I am Spartacus, I am Spartacus. The, this notion of anonymity in numbers. Uh, I recently did an interview with Moot, Chris Poole, who is the very young creator of uh, an online um, message board called 4chan in which people share images. It's a very easy way for people to pass images around. It started out um, as a, 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 an English language version of a Japanese site. What happened was that it very quickly devolved into um, one of the most toxic places online in which many of the memes, many of the sort of the viral things that are very popular in the kind of culture that make the culture of the web have emerged. They were popularized um, on 4chan. At the same time, it's also known as, a, as an environment that's full of trolls, that's full of people who you know, are quite negative and who commit things like uh, DDoS attacks. Particularly because this environment is anonymous Chris is very passionate about the idea that it remains anonymous because it does have such power. Because um, the collective that has become known as anonymous and has gathered on 4chan frequently works together in order to uh, attack or to uh, protest against things that they as a community don't agree with. So Scientology has been a quite, quite big event on the 4chan board. Um, and also things like um, the Recording Industry of America. Um, anyway, that's, that's the, the aspect of the power of numbers. So I'm not going to go too much into those things at the minute. I'd like to open this up to